songwriter, playwright, dancer, stage and screen producer, director, performer, singer, and civil rights activist. How interesting that it was through Calypso, through music, that she adopted her name as Maya Angelou. By the suggestion of her manager, she took up the now world famous name because she felt it was distinctive and would capture the energy of her sound. In the earliest days of her budding career, Young Maya had the pleasure of fully, of being fully blue legend Billie Holiday. When Lady Day saw Mama Maya perform, she noticed something about this young artist that was definitely captivating. She told Maya that she was going to be famous, but that it wouldn't be for singing. The prophetic Lady Day couldn't have been more right. The singer by the name of Maya Angelou remained virtually unknown. But the world would forever know the poet, Lori, she eventually became. There are 1954 and 1955, Maya Angelou toured Europe as a feature dancer in the American opera, Porgy and Bess. In 1956, she opened her own Calypso show in Beverly Hills, which paved the way for 1957 when she released the studio album under Scam Records called Miss Calypso. Today we honor not just this beautiful ancestor's poetic genius, but her love of Calypso music as well. Sit back and enjoy the musical words of Maya Angelou as we, the students of Art Elementary, honor her amazing legendary work through song and spoken word. I want everyone to sit back and relax, and now we're going to have 